speaker is Priyanka. Um, so she's going to talk about oral menin inhibitor BMF219 uh, effects on significant and durable reduction in HbA1c in a type 2 diabetes rat model. Thank you very much. So today I will be presenting this data on behalf of Biomia Fusion. So for an introduction, menin is an epigenetic protein that plays a key role in beta cell proliferation and function. Inhibition of menin promotes beta cell homeostasis and, per and permits beta cell recovery. BMF219 is a selective covalent oral menin inhibitor that exerts global disruption of menin protein complexes. We investigated the ability of BMF219 in restoring glycemic control in a Zucker diabetic fatty rat, a model of pancreatic exhaustion displaying islet atrophy, glucose intolerance, and insulin resistance. 10 rats per group were treated once orally daily with BMF219 at three doses for 28 days. Liraglutide was included um, at a clinically efficacious dose. Animals were monitored through a drug washout period. So going into the results, both BMF219 doses tested exerted marked glycemic control in, re in reduction of blood glucose at days 8, 15, and 21, um, including liraglutide. However, only BMF219 200 mg per kg group had marked glycemic control at day 29. Additionally, the BMF219 200 mg per kg group uh, displayed improved insulin sensitivity by an oral glucose tolerance test conducted on day 25. You can also see that BMF219 at this dose outperformed liraglutide by OGTT. We next assessed the ability of BMF219 to affect beta cell function by measuring the HOMA beta index in BMF219 treated rats at 170 mg per kg treated group as this dose was administered for the entire four week duration. As you can see, a HOMA beta index of greater than 201 indicates rest, uh, a normal state or normal adequate beta cell function, and values less than this suggest deficiency. BMF219 at this dose elevated HOMA beta scores to greater than 201 at day 21, an effect that was sustained at day 29 indicating restored beta cell function. In comparison, liraglutide tested elevated home beta scores to near 200. However, this effect was not maintained at day 29. We next examined HbA1c reduction in BMF219 treated rats, and we found that BMF219 at day 21 reduced HbA1c 1.6% at day 21, and by day 29, there was a 3.5 significant reduction in HbA1c. Importantly, this effect was sustained after a 15-day drug washout at day 43. Liraglutide, as expected, reduced HbA1c um, at day 29 by 1.7%. However, this was not statistically significant at day 43. And finally, BMF219 200 mg per kg group reduced body weight by 13% through the end of treatment. We also found significant reductions in cholesterol and triglyceride levels by both BMF219 dose groups tested. So in conclusion, BMF219 displays significant glycemic control in CDF rats. It outperformed liraglutide in reduction of fasting blood glucose in day 29 and OGTT. We found significant reductions in HbA1c levels by 3.5% during treatment and during the drug washout. Notably, BMF219 treatment restored HOMA beta scores to normal state, indicating restored beta cell function and significant reductions in body weight uh, of 13% and reduced blood lipidic levels were also observed. Collectively, our data demonstrate the novel long-acting potential of BMF219 as an orally administered short-term treatment in achieving and maintaining glycemic control in type 2 diabetes. And, uh, we look forward to your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've got one question. Thank you very much. How do you explain the weight loss mechanistically? So we're still exploring the mechanism of weight loss. Um, this was observed in this study and additional data is also being presented at an oral session on the 22nd. So we will explore that further there as well. 
Any other questions? So in your abstract, you mentioned you're going to talk about HOMA, well, in measurements of insulin resistance and insulin and C-peptide. Do you have any data for that? Yes, that's a great question. So we do have data for C-peptide that mirrors what we found for um, insulin. However, due to the time restrictions with the short oral, we do not include this here. Um, we have also previously uh, presented this data at ADA, some of this data set, and so you can see the insulin C-peptide uh, alterations in that data set that we published in June. Insulin resistance, specifically, we're still exploring that mechanistically. Um, we have included that in our study protocol and still uh, kind of looking through the data to explore the mechanisms. Any other questions? I, I presume you didn't have any uh, imaging assessment for uh, pancreatic volume and things like that, no? So you can stay tuned for the oral presentation um, on Thursday. So we have uh, a lot more mechanistic data in that session. Right. Thank you very much. Let me.